Today is my little sister Alex's 18th birthday. But here's my problem. She's here in England. Meanwhile, I'm all the way over here in Japan. That's exactly 9,610 kilometres away. So here's what I've come up with. It all started on the 17th of February, 1998. You were born in Milton Keynes Hospital at 3.02am. Dad was there to help pull you out and that was when he still had that funky 80s facial hair. So the first thing you saw when you were born was a hairy German man. No wonder you looked so scared. A few days before you were born, Mum went for a walk in the forest while Dad went for a run. This happened to be the exact moment when her waters broke. This in itself is nothing that unusual, except for this happened on a Sunday and you weren't born until the Tuesday. Why inconvenience anyone by going into hospital before the due date, right? One of the first memories of my life is actually going to the hospital to meet you. I remember picking out one of my old teddies to give to you as a present and being really proud to be a big sister. We took you home to the little house that had pink carpets in all the bathrooms, which we always thought was odd. There was also a giant sunflower outside the front door, and this is where we would live for the first few years of your life. From a very young age, you've never failed to make us laugh. You must have been about three years old when mum took you to an expensive bridal shop. I think you ruined someone's dress fitting when you were caught leaning against the wall with a very concentrated look on your face, squeezing out a little poo. That's when we decided it was time to potty train you. As kids, we had lots of fun together. I remember finding a carabiner attached to one of Dad's backpacks and we went abseiling down the stairs with skipping ropes that we'd tied together. I'm still sorry that I let you fall to your death that day. When we weren't climbing up them, we were sliding down them. Once we put on hats and scarves and went sledging into all the pillows and duvets that we put at the bottom of the stairs. There was only one time I nearly killed you. You were sat watching TV and I decided it would be a good idea to jump out at you swinging a whipped cream can like a baseball bat. Of course, I was holding the lid end, can flew off and hit you straight in the eyebrow. Dad was out grocery shopping at the time and said he'd never raced home quicker than when he got the phone call from me saying, hurry, Alex is bleeding. He came home to find me sobbing and you sat on the kitchen counter sucking your thumb with a bag of frozen peas held to your forehead. You were really brave that day. You only started crying when the nurse said that she was going to glue your eyebrow back together. Despite the accident, you never stopped following my footsteps as a big sister. I remember one time we went on a day trip to Stratford-upon-Avon. We saw the Shakespeare house, a butterfly farm and even visited a miniature village. It was on the way back to the car when I decided I wanted to walk in the river rather than on the path. Of course, you had to follow despite Dad warning you not to. And then this happened. When looking for pictures of you, I found a lot of you on horses, all sleeping in weird positions and places. So many photos of you eating. And only one of you dressed as a skeleton. Lots to show how much your friends love you. Even more to show how much our family loves you. And a whole heap to prove why they should all be proud of you. Yes, Alex, everyone loves you. Everyone thinks you're great. Obviously, you're beautiful too. I am so happy that you are my little sister. Just kidding. I'm probably the one that loves you the most. I'm sorry I can't be there for your special day. But happy birthday, Alex.